This lesson will show you how to form and solve equations using the perimeters of shapes. Okay, let's have a look at the first question. We've got a rectangle with 2x, 3x, 2x and 3x. And we're told that the perimeter of that shape the whole way around is 50. So we need to form an equation from this information. So we know that if we do add up all four sides, it should be 50 centimetres. So that's 2x plus 3x plus 2x plus 3x. Adding up all four sides should get us 50 centimetres. So it should equal 50 centimetres. So we formed an equation. Obviously we need to simplify this. So that would be 10x equals 50. So x equals 5 centimetres in this case. Let's have a look at the second question. Okay, the second question, we've got uh, what looks like a, a square, well it is a square, and we're told that we've got four sides that are 2a, so you've got 2a plus 2a plus 2a plus 2a, and we're told that the perimeter of this shape is 24. So those four sides added together equal 24. So you've got 8a equals 24. We form the equation, solve it, divide both sides by 8, and you get a equals 3. So that's 3 centimetres. Okay, you have a go at the third question, and I'll give you the answer in a couple of seconds. So press pause. Okay, for the third question, hopefully you got this. x equals 7 centimetres. You've got 7x in total, and it equals 42. Okay, let's try some different ones. Okay, have a go at the first question on this slide. And I'll give you the answer in just a second. So press pause. Okay, for this one you should have got a total of 9y on the round the perimeter, and that equals 45, so y equals 5. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. I'll go through this one. Okay, this middle one's a little bit different. If you'll notice, and you need to be very careful of this, there are a couple of things missing. There's nothing on this side, and there's nothing on this side. Remember, the perimeter, we have to count all of the sides of the shape. So we need to try and work out what the top one is first. Well, along the bottom, we know this is 6x. But we also know that from here, here is 3x, which means this bit here must also be 3x. So at the top of the shape, we have 3x. We've also got this length here, which we need to work out. So that'll be 2x plus another 2x, which will be 4x. And we need to make sure we include these when we work out our perimeter of our shape. So for this shape, we've got 4x side we worked out, 3x we worked out on top, and then the rest of the sides were given. So that's plus 2x, plus another 3x, plus another 2x, and then the 6x at the bottom. A lot of x's, and that equals 60. Not 66 that that looks like. Okay, add those up, and you get 20 x equals 60, so x equals 3 centimetres. OK, have a go at the third one on this page. Press pause, and I'll give you the answer in a second. And there's an the answer for the third one. Let's try some more. OK, have a go at these three questions. Press pause, and I'll give you the answers in a few seconds. Here you go, there's answers to the first one. Make sure you fill in those blank sides that were I've marked on here, here, and here. Don't forget about any blank sides. Okay, answer to the second one coming up. Okay, there's answer to the middle one. Don't forget, 
the blank sides, okay? Don't forget about the blank sides. Right, have a go at the third one. Okay, it's like changing this one because you've got actually got a number in this one, but you form the equation. You've got x plus x plus the 8. So 2x plus 8 equals the perimeter of the shape, 28. Form the equation, now you solve it. Take away 8 from both sides, you get 2x equals 20. Divide by 2, you get x. 20 divided by 2, 10. Done. Okay, final set of questions. Let's take a look at this first one. We've got 3x, 3x, and 4 and 4 on this one. And it equals a perimeter of 20. So we've got 3x plus 4, another 3x, and another 4. And those four things make 20 centimetres. Okay, so we formed the equation. Let's simplify it first. So there's six x's, four plus four is eight, equals twenty. We formed the equation, now we need to solve it. So take away eight from both sides, you get six x equals twelve x equals two. Done. Right, I've got those last two questions. I'm gonna tell you what x equals in a few seconds. There's the answer to the last two. Don't forget, remember to find any missing sides.